Novak, I need you and Hermia to figure out how to get a site to site transport lock on a set of coordinates inside the hive ship. No, 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 no. Sir, uh, Hermia isn't gonna like that. Get it done, Doctor. That's an order. I've uh, set the timer for five seconds. Is that enough time for you? Five seconds should be more than ample. Okay, look. I know you don't approve of using technology this way, but you have to understand... I am ready. Colonel, Hermiad is ready and standing by for warhead transport. But I can tell you, he is not happy about this. The weapon is away. Warheads to go off one second after reintegration. So I assume you're fine with that? If I may be so bold, what exactly are we looking for? Any indication that someone's been tampering with the ship's computers? Perhaps you could be more specific. Not really, no. <sighs> what was that? Nothing. Look, just check the major system. Propulsion, navigation, life support. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Lindstrom and I'll check power distribution, see if we can figure out what caused the power spike. How's it coming, Rodney? It's going to take a while. Don't stare. You hate it when people stare. Am I the only one who thinks it's strange we're working with an alien? You know, galactic hyperdrive technology is kind of new to us, so we need his help. Is he supposed to be naked like that? Lindstrom? Dr. McKay, you were just in time. For what? What are you looking at? The sabotage we've been searching for. It's a virus. How perceptive of you. Where did you find it? One of the navigational computers. There is evidence of it in communications, and some of the propulsion systems as well. So it's spreading? Yes, and changing. What do you mean? It appears to be rewriting itself as it grows. It is unlike any human-engineered program I have ever encountered. Yeah. Air person. Won't be there. What are you doing? I'm just checking something. I'm sure it is impossible. Crap. What did you do? I just ran through a translation program. It's great. Crap, indeed. The time to stop them dialing. Colonel Caldwell, I believe I can make modifications to the hyperdrive in order to achieve the speed necessary to reach a distance capable of relaying the transmission within the allotted time. The hyperdrive will be operating at a level that can only be sustained for a short duration before damage is incurred. What kind of damage? It could burn out the drive. Meaning we'd be stuck between galaxies. Yeah, I know what it means, Doctor. However, I do believe that we will reach the point at which we can relay the message to Atlantis before damage to the hyperdrive is incurred. Are you sure about that? Shall I make the modifications, Colonel? Go ahead. I don't see how you can possibly milk any more power out of the hyperdrive. Dr. Kavanaugh. Yes. Stop talking, please. Thank you. Are we set to die? So our only option is to sit here and wait? There is one other option. What? We could leave. Well, that's not an option we're considering. Colonel, I believe the eruption will occur in 52 seconds. Are you sure? I would not state it if I wasn't. You may begin, Dr. McKay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was weird. Shall we? They didn't need you on the Daedalus. Colonel Caldwell believed my time was better spent disabling their jamming code. Huh. So, they can't fly that ship without you. Yes. But apparently you cannot run these tests without me. I'm sure I would have been fine. I am not as sure. 
Really? Well. Okay. Try it now. Well, well. Turns out the human knows what he's doing after all. Indeed. Your assistance on this project will be noted. My assistance? Oh, need a yay or nay on the equations. Yay.